what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? We got a woman and a man inside of a club. The music is jumping. The atmosphere is electric. And the guy behind his woman is bumping and grinding and driving and sliding and slipping and gripping. And I mean, he's just doing the girl bad from the back, just pumping her from the back, right? Basically dry humping her. The guy just sits there and you know, puts his um, head in his hand, drops his head. Now, first question comes to my mind is, what type of dignified man would sit there and allow something like that to happen? Now, fam, let me tell you, let, I would not be in that situation, but let's just say that was some type of like uh, weird reason that put me that. Maybe it was a dream. Maybe I was in a dream. I was in a dream and I was in a club and and my woman was getting humped from the back, you know, by some dude. And uh, even in a dream, in my mind, I got to go. I'm not trying to stop nothing. If that's what she, like, like to me, it's even simping to try to stop it. I think it's damn near more simping to try to stop it. Now, let them have it. And I'm up and I'm out. Would I feel disrespected? Would I feel, absolutely I would feel disrespected. Would I feel, um, some type of uh, acrimony. Absolutely. Would it, would it be hurtful? Hell yeah. But I know I'd get over it. Like I've gotten over every other difficult situation in my life. I just have to respect the process and I'll get over it. But definitely she would be for the streets. I would be gone. And what type of woman would behave in such a manner? Like, what goes on in your head that makes you think behaving like that is okay? And even for the dude that's doing the hump, and I don't know if dude knew this girl was with the dude or whatever, but at some point he saw the guy reaching for, and at that point he should have probably backed off because some dudes you know, they'll kill you. You know, some of these dudes, they, I mean, they, they be in simp overdrive. They will pull out that thing or, you know, they'll go to the car, get it and come back with it and lay you out, knock your head off. So you got to be careful. Uh, and I see that a lot. I, you know, I actually have seen that a number of times where women be with their dude and other dudes have come up and dance with these women because the other dude is checking out the woman's energy with her dude. And they're kind of like looking like, oh, they, they're together, but you know what I'm saying? He ain't up on her, like, right? So dude see a little opening, he might catch her dancing by herself on the floor or, you know, or not really uh, vibing with dude and dude might just walk up to her. And, uh, the trip part about it is that if a woman sees something like that going down, like at the end of the day, even if you ain't feeling the dude that you're with, you got to have something called self-respect, right? And this woman absolutely had none. Like, okay, you don't like the dude, but it's like Jay-Z said, you don't get a neck back like that. You don't show him you don't like him by dancing with another dude, even if it wasn't as provocative as she was dancing. You don't just take off and go dance with another dude. You know, you get through that day. I mean, you put yourself in that situation. You get through the night. And then, you know, you do what every other 
respectable woman would do. Block him. <laughs> but wow, man, this simp thing is out of control. Dude really sat there and watched his woman dance with another dude. I'm looking at it like, man, that gotta be his cousin. That must be his cousin or somebody. That's, you know, or perhaps they just met and they didn't define what the rules of engagement was. Uh, I said that once, I mentioned that once, and some dude said, well, she should know. She should automatically know. No, 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 no. Let me explain something to y'all. When you go out with a woman for the first time, and y'all are not in a committed relationship, it is very important that you guys lay out some ground rules because different people operate in different ways. Even guys, sometimes a guy might sit there and hold a conversation with a girl for too long or whatever, if he would another one. So you gotta have, you gotta lay out some guidelines. You gotta have some, some, some boundaries. You gotta say, okay, these are the rules. We going out, these are the rules. Now, you should always have conversations in relationships regarding all things. And to just assume would not be wise. See, when you assume how a person should behave or, uh, or what you expect from a person, you assume that a person knows what you expect from them, then you leave room for error, you see? but. When you have that conversation, you take out all room for error and you have an understanding. If I was in old buddy's shoes, which I would not be, but if I was, I would have absolutely left her exactly where she was. And that's even if we didn't lay out the rules before we went out, because it's just certain stuff you just don't do, period. Typically, I would make sure a woman got back home safely or got back to wherever she was going safely if I was responsible for picking her up. If she rolled with me, she went with me, I'm gonna make sure she get back safely. But that one, oh, she for the streets, man. Let her get back however she get back. Let, let dude take her back home or whatever. And then when I get to the house, oh, she ain't coming in. Oh, either I'm gonna be gone when she come to the house or uh, she ain't never coming to that house again, depending on what the, what the living situation is like. You know, like if it's my house, oh yeah, it absolutely would be my house. <laughs> I would not be living with a woman. Uh, I would live with a woman, but you know, my name would definitely be on the paperwork. But let's just say we shared the house. I would be gone. Like I, I have to get out of there. Like she can have it. I get all my stuff. And whatever else I need to get, I'll get that later. But I'll be done with her. I wouldn't want to be in the space with her at all. I wouldn't want to share any more space with her ever again in life. Say it with me, fam. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?